By the end of this decade, half of the world's electricity could come from renewable sources. But we are still falling short of the UN goal. The goal is to make three times more renewable energy by 2030 than what was available in 2020. Climate change demands a complete transformation of the global energy supply. To limit global warming, we need to triple our renewable energy capacity by 2030. However, the progress we have made so far is not enough to meet that target. If we don't significantly cut carbon emissions, global temperatures will continue to rise, leading to more extreme weather events, rising sea levels, and widespread ecological disruption. The IPCC warns that surpassing the 1.5 degrees Celsius limit could result in irreversible damage to ecosystems and human livelihoods. So what's causing the gap? The truth is, fossil fuels are central to how we power our lives. They are still widely used and heavily invested in around the world. As long as fossil fuels remain profitable, there's little incentive to speed up the transition to renewables. Yet, there's reason for optimism. Around the world, we are witnessing an energy revolution. 70 countries responsible for 80% of global renewable power are on track to meet or exceed their renewable energy targets by 2030. According to the International Energy Agency, today we are spending nearly twice as much on renewable energy as we are on fossil fuels. Also, we will add over 5,500 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030, almost three times the growth of the last six years. Solar and wind power are leading the charge, with solar alone expected to account for 80% of new growth. This marks the largest ever increase in renewable energy. But the road ahead requires bold action. Despite the gains, we won't reach the UN goal unless fossil fuel investment is halted. The World Economic Forum has made it clear. Only by ending new fossil fuel projects and redirecting resources into renewables can we close the gap. If we keep pushing forward, renewable energy will soon meet all new electricity demand. But to truly combat climate change, the shift must be faster and more decisive.